Okay, a while back I mentioned that I occasionally wear weighted clothes when I work out or I'm doing yoga a lot. So, someone asked me what sort of weighted clothes do I own? So I decided to bring to go through this. The first one is really good for walking, light cardio. I used to wear it for doing P90X, Kempo X. You know, anything that doesn't require lots of bending or especially bending over. I have the, my 16 uh, pound weighted vest it's from the UFC style. This course is really good for walking. Uh, one of the issues that I do have is it does have four straps. So you need to make sure that each of the straps works out very well. So you have your, your side straps, and then two straps in the front. You might notice you're only really seeing one strap in the front. One of the big problems with most of the UFC made weighted things, as you can tell, this strap actually tore itself entirely free. And this is the, the top chest strap. That is ironically one of the bigger complaints most people tend to have about the UFC created weighted clothing. You do seem to see some sort of issues where seams do tend to give out. <clears throat> For even things like my George St. Pierre thing, uh, things that are more of a boxing nature, there's of course the, the two pound UFC weighted glove. Now this part here is velcroed in so you can remove it. You really can't use this one for yoga because it does have a, a weighted sack right here at the bit, right here about your fingers bent. So when you make a fist, it's nice and on the inside. If you're trying to do yoga, this is pushing against your fingers, not very comfortable. So again, this is good for doing anything that's a, a punching activity. You know, for a while I was actually wearing these and trying to do some of the the Wii, the Wii games. You know, it's it does take a little while to be able to hold a nunchuck in a Wiimote while wearing a weighted glove, especially because you, you, you lose a little bit because of the padding there. But if you're doing things like anything you're not making direct contact, I do not recommend wearing any sort of weighted glove if you're punching something. Because all of a sudden the weight that's there is going to kind of get transferred right back into your hand. Really good chance of injuring yourself. Again, another UFC thing. <clears throat> this is the pound and a half forearm. Now, I don't know if, how well this one's actually holding up. Now with this one, again, you have a, a similar thing. You've got a two Velcro style, so you'll have one piece of Velcro towards the top of your forearm, one more towards the bottom. You will run into an issue over time. It does stretch. And there's a, a back seam here. So this seam that runs right along through here. That does have a tendency to wear out. You will see issues along these two seams. Ironically, this is the elastic style material, so it is designed to give more. However, over time, it will kind of tear. So, you know, a pound and a half, not bad. If you get it set just right, pretty good for yoga. You know, you can get some really good, if you're stretching out your arms more, you get a little more tension on them. This is also really great, too, for, again, if you're doing something on the, on the weave, some of those requires punching. If you get them set up just right, you might notice there's a, a difference in the curvature. So one is actually a right, one is a left. You can wear them backwards and you won't notice a huge difference, but over time you will. And also with, with most of these, they are washable. Don't know how well I get this onto the camera. Because when you look on the inside, surprisingly it will show well at all. If you look on the inside, they do have little pockets. So the little small amounts of weight actually can be removed and you can wash these. Just a pain to put them back together again. They also make what ends up being a weighted shin. Again, great for yoga. Great for yoga. As well as for doing things that are kicking. These are, I want to say, this is a, a two pound weight. An issue I'm having with these, these might actually be a lot easier to show. With the, the top piece of Velcro, you might notice that since this is a really long piece, of the, uh, the side that attaches to the hooks. Over time, what should just be up here, this whole thing is slowly getting itself frayed. This one might trip a lot better in the back. Again, since you're trying to pull this over your foot, it does get kind of difficult. So you might notice, see so my mouth coming through? That is a direct tear on the other side of where this is. I also have lots of stress lines. Let's see if I can get more of these to show. But there are small holes throughout this whole length of this one. On the other one, more of the holes are on this side. And most of that comes from, you know, you're trying to pull a, a thing over your foot and ankle area. 
So you're trying to pull what ends up being a, a circle over a triangle. It takes some time to get used to it, but overall, not that bad. Well, I've got, got two more to go through. <clears throat> this is a, another style. This one actually is one you can put on pretty easily. The older style of, of wrist and ankle weights were hard to put on. This one actually has a nice little thumb piece. So you can, do it, you can get that nice, good... This, again, is great. This is a two-pound weight. This, again, is great for something like the Wii. Or if you're throwing punches. If you throw a lot of punches, this will shift. It takes a while to get used to the way it's located. Most of the other weights, they're done predominantly on the, uh, the back of the hand, or a little bit on the front of the hand. With this one being located more on the wrist, it does take some getting used to, because all of a sudden you have a lot more momentum in one location as opposed to it being naturally just an extension of your arm. So the last one I have, this is actually, the last this was from SciSoft. The other one was a, a fitness gear. And this is actually the one pound, so each one is one pound. And this is initially designed for Wii Fit. This one actually is great for yoga. Main reason why, let's this guy real quick, is that it is actually an open palm. So all of your weight is right here. This one, if you want to actually punch a bag, you would be okay because you just have your knuckles right here. Not good for back fists. Back fists, you would be hitting that weighted sack. Now, for a yoga standpoint, you know, the, the amount of blocking you get here is fairly minimal. I know for someone like the, the Trish Stratus style weighted glove, the weight is pushed forward a little bit, so it's not resting right here, more of the wrist, it's a little bit shifted forward. But, you know, nice open palm, great for doing yoga. It's also pretty decent if you want to go out for a jog, too. So that's just a small collection of the, the weighted clothing that I do have. Weighted things that inch. I do have five pound ankle weights, but ankle weights, you kind of know what they are, know how to use them. I wouldn't recommend wearing a 5 on ankle weight if you're going to go out for a walk. I have actually worn the shin guards at a convention just to get a little more cardio and a little more work out of my muscles.